Hi guys and welcome to this YouTube video where I'll show you how to auto provision a phone and how to do some little configurations on the Broadworks platform. So as you can see, I'm already logged into the Broadworks uh, environment. So this is my user that I'll be using. So I already set up everything. I even set up the busy LAM field as you can see here um, and all of the other call control things that I wanted to add. So what I'll do is I'll go into profile and click addresses. And that's where you will add the phone uh, to be registered under the uh, user. Um, so I'll just give it a quick phone number and, and some extension. And I'll select the identity device profile. And that's where you select the uh, VDX to be added. So I'll select identity device profile name. I'll select new identity device profile and the identity device profile type that's the uh, specific template uh, the the uh, the brotsoft dms so basically the provisioning server for uh, broadworks uh, that's where, where it grabs the template for the phone so as you can see there are a lot of different phones that are that are supported by uh, the brotsoft dms but in this specific case we'll be using a vdx 411 as you can see here uh, so I'll be using the AP Polycom UC authentication profile. Now there's uh, there's two other profiles. Uh, there's conference and there's flex. Those are used for the sound station IPs uh, and the flex seating functionality. Uh, Polycom UC is pretty cool because they also added the Polycom Trio 8800 and the 8500 um, to it. So if you ever want to provision a phone with this service provider, Basically, basically, you only really need two, uh, two identity device profile types, which makes things a little bit easier. So to get the uh, MAC address, which is something we'll need to fill in, there's a little trick we can do with the uh, VVX device. So there are three little buttons on the, uh, on the phone that everyone is very familiar with. There's the one, the four, and the seven. If you press those simultaneously, it will show you the status of the network basically. So there's a little phone detail and my little Logitech webcam that I'm using right now. So you'll see the IP address on top, you'll see the MAC address and you'll see the uh, version that is running. So currently it's already on 5.7. Uh, that's the version the, uh, the service provider is using. But you'll also see the MAC address and the IP address which will be important uh, later on. So let's just fill in the IP address. Go six four one six seven F zero D A A I B. I'll call this one VVX Ian, as you can see here. Let me share my screen. There you go. So as you can see, we'll have device profile name and line port VVX Ian. We'll hit apply, and there you go. So that phone is now added into uh, the user as uh, or associated to that user rather. If we click configure identity device profile, this is the actual uh, device profile that we'll have to uh, edit to make some uh, little changes. So I'll use custom credentials just so I, I can make sure the, the phone can actually grab its, uh, its template to get configured. There we go. And there are some features that are not on turned on automatically by the uh, service provider. So we'll need to add some custom tags. Now these are these will change the template that, that uh, the service provider is using, uh, which I show you in, in a different uh, video of mine. Um, but basically I want to open up the web interface, which they have turned off uh, automatically. Uh, and I want to use busy lamp field to get those nice little uh, lights on my, on my phone. So I'll just add a custom tag. So the first one we'll add is web interface which will open up the web interface and I'll use the value one. There we go. And of course, busy lamp field enable. So these are uh, custom tags. So they, they are provided by the service provider. Uh, they could technically be anything. We have uh, Polycom provides some uh, preference custom tags, so to say, to make things a bit easier and more clear uh, for the users and the admins. And in this case, they use BLF underscore enable in capital letters to indicate busy lamp field. So after I've done that, all I need to do is go to files and rebuild files just to make sure the parameters are actually put into 
the uh, configuration file for the phone. Now I grab the device type URL. That's where the actual configuration file for this phone is hosted. Uh, and I'll be using the device username and password. So let's go into my VVX. So as you can see, that's the uh, IP address that was on my phone. I'll use the default password of 456. And once I'm logged in, there's only one thing I really need to do, and that's going to settings, provisioning server, change the server type to HTTP, just paste in the uh, URL, put in my credentials, and just save it like that. And once it's done, as you can hear, it will uh, start rebooting and it will just take a little while uh, and I'll show you what it looks like after it's been uh, rebooted because it might take a little while. Uh, then I'll show you some minor tweaks you can do. So just give me one second. Welcome back. The phone is uh, now rebooted, uh, as you can see. So it has the 411 extension. It has some cool busy LAN fields and all the other settings that I uh, put in there. Now there's one thing I wanted to do. I forgot something. I wanted to uh, change the order of the busy LAN field for the device. Because now I have, as you can see, I have beep support all the way on top, but I actually talk to Polycom support a bit more. So as you can see, beep support will be right under our extension. So that would be the first one. So if I change the uh, beep beep, I just put this all the way on top. So it's Polycom support, and there we go. And it will immediately have changed on the phone, as you can see. Now we have support Polycom. So as soon as you change anything in, in uh, the BLF part of Broadsoft, it will change it in the device itself as well. Now, if I want to change anything else, like adding the ACD functionality, all I do is I go back to the custom tags and I can add another uh, another configuration. So one of them was, for instance, the admin pass that I added uh, just because I wanted to use a different admin password than the service provider was using. Uh, but I can always add, you know, ACD enable one. All I do is uh, rebuild the files. And after that, I reset the phone. And that's that. That's all there is to it. So I showed you a lot more things than just provisioning the phone. Uh, but keep in mind, all you really needed to do was set up the configuration profile. Literally only this part. Um, and the user, of course, you will need that. And put in the right credentials in the provisioning server settings. That's it. If you need uh, any anything else, it's just using the custom tags or using the different parameters you have in the device configuration. Um, <clears throat> But setting up a Polycom PBX is, is quite quite easy, so it shouldn't be difficult to anyone. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below, uh, and I'll come back to you uh, ASAP, uh, or shoot me an email, of course. Thank you.